So in this video, I'm making the power chair remote controlled. And I'll go over how I did all this. Alright, so we're going to do something different here. This is for the steering for the power chair. <clears throat> Essentially, we're going to make a go-kart remote control. Now, there wasn't really anything I could find on doing this, so I'm just going to wing it here and hopefully this will work. we got two servos here. This one I just took apart. I didn't do anything to it yet, just took the screws out of it. We have an H bridge, uh, battery pack, and a buck converter or voltage regulator, and a remote control and uh, receiver. And an old wiper motor. So, what we want to do is take and remove these wires here. off the servo so the servo doesn't control the motor anymore this is all going to be powered off of a 12 volt battery so that it can run the, the wiper motor and then we'll use this to convert 12 volts to 6 volts to run everything else alright so we got the soldering iron heated up we're gonna go ahead and unsolder these connections here So now we have uh, the two connections that go to the motor on solder. We're going to need to take a little notch out of this case here so that our two wires can go through. We're just gonna tin the connections on here. Now these are gonna go to the H bridge. We're gonna put this one to here. I better put some heat shrink on there first. All right, so we're just gonna solder this to this wire here. this other wire onto here.
heat shrink these. I'm just going to pull the motor out of there so I have more space. Don't need it anyway, it's not even connected. Now on this side we got a bunch of gears. And we're just going to take all these off of here because we don't need them anymore either. Being that we don't have a motor on here. We're going to stick the top back on it and put the screws back in it. Alright, so now we have a servo with the motor removed. The two wires that went to the motor are now going to the H bridge. And this is still connected to the potentiometer that's inside of here. That's what will tell it what position it's in. These three wires and I'm not going to use batteries, I'm just going to use uh, this plug. We'll just snip that off there. So we're going to take these three, these are all positive wires, 6 volt. We're going to put a little flux on them. And then turn these wires. So I got one of these, just a junction block. I can hook this into here. And then the other three can go in here. Now these will all have power, 6 volts. Here's the receiver. control
All right, so I'm going to take the multimeter here and I'm going to test to make sure we have 12 volts here and 6 volts here all up. So we don't have the potentiometer hooked up here. But if you can see the the motor here when I when I turn the the wheel the motor turns. Okay, so now you can see the motor here when I turn the remote control it turns that and speed even works it turns it faster or slower so that works now we gotta take this piece here we're gonna mount this to that and we'll go ahead and screw this into this piece here So we have the servo in here. This will go on top of this wiper motor right here like this. We're gonna pull this tape off of there. Now what we're going to need to do next is take one of these, put the piece on here and make a linkage between here and here so that when the wiper motor turns, it turns the servo as well. Okay, I figured it out. I had this on the wrong side. So, <coughs> now when you steer left, it goes left and comes back. And then I can adjust uh, the steering rate right here.
And it's a little sloppy right now because I don't have this bolted down or anything. Once it's bolted down and this isn't moving around, it'll be a little better. And it has a throttle limiting. So if you only want to have a little bit of throttle, you put it on uh, this setting. If you want all the throttle, you move it up there and it moves a lot farther. So I think that'll work for the throttle and that'll work for the steering. Next we're gonna package this all up, mount it on the go-kart and hook up the linkages and stuff and we'll see how it works. All right, so just to go over what we did here, we have the wiper motor being powered by the H bridge. That's getting power from the jump box. It'll be a battery later. And then the servo, we took the motor out of it and the gears, so it's just the potentiometer. And the two wires from the motor are going to the H bridge. And then these other wires here are just six volt power wires from the H bridge. This is a DC to DC buck converter. It takes 12 volts and outputs six volts. That goes to here and to all of these wires. This here is the RC transceiver or receiver. Um, it has the servo, this will be for the throttle. And then this is for the other servo. So when we turn on the controller and the jump box, now set it down so I can turn it easier with one hand. And it turns, depending on how much you turn it. And it comes back to center. Both ways. And then this will be for the throttle. And it's all adjustable and everything, how far and... So, we'll be able to keep the hover around power chair looking like a hover around power chair. It won't have a steering wheel. It'll be remote control. All these parts together um, add up to about 70, 75 bucks. I'll put all the products up here. This is the step down converter or buck converter. The battery pack, I just used the end of it. Two servos, one that I took apart and used for the wiper motor and the other one I'm going to use just as it came. Then the RC controller and the H bridge. This is a IBT2. So this is a pretty easy way to make any uh, go-kart or if you even wanna just use a wiper motor as a high torque servo. And uh, it's pretty easy to do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.